Hey guys, it's Ellie and welcome back to Beauty Hacks. Fail or Holy Grail, where we test Pinterest Beauty Hacks and see if they're a fail or a Holy Grail or a Holy Fail. Today we are filming in my kitchen because this hack has tons of ingredients, so it makes more sense to do it in the kitchen. So that's what we're doing. So without further ado, today we are finally, finally doing the DIY bath bombs that you guys voted to number one. This has been the most requested, most voted hack I think ever. And so I'm really excited to do it with you guys. I'm really happy that you all are so excited about it. And let's go ahead and jump in. There are DIY bath bomb hacks all over the internet. And so there's about a million different recipes. The one I'll be using is from Beauty Bar Online, and I'm just gonna be using some of the different things I've picked up from several different websites and stuff like that. But we are trying to get the whole round fizzing bath bomb that Lush sells, you know, like the really popular ones you see all over Tumblr and the internet everywhere. So for this hack, to make the Lush bath bombs, you will need citric acid, and this is something you probably don't already have in your house. I ordered almost all of this stuff on Amazon. I'll leave links down below for you guys. You will also need some cornstarch and some baking soda and that will make up your dry ingredients. I've read you can also add Epsom salt, which would make for an amazing bath bomb, but we're not gonna be doing that today. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. And then for your wet ingredients, which will be added separately, you will need coconut oil, and I'm using Organic Virgin by Spectrum, some liquid food dye, and I'm using purple because we're gonna be using lavender, so it's gonna all tie in. And like I mentioned, some lavender. This is just an essential oil. You can use any kind of essential oil that you want. This is really just for the scent. One other thing you may wanna get is a spray bottle. I use a spray bottle for mine because you have to be really controlled when you add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients so that it doesn't fizz when you're mixing it. So I picked up a spray bottle on Amazon as well and just keep that in mind. So I went ahead and I did all of this this morning. I mixed them all so that I could give them lots of time to set. So let's go ahead and jump over to the clip of me mixing the bombs and then when we get back, we're gonna check them out. It's been about seven hours that I've had them in the freezer. So we'll get back to that after. Just let's go ahead and get mixing. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. First is one cup of citric acid and then one cup of baking soda and then a half a cup of cornstarch and then I'm gonna whisk this all together until it's super combined. You wanna get everything totally mixed together. And then we're gonna set aside this bowl and move on to the wet ingredients. So I've separated our dry ingredients into two separate bowls. After I mix it, I spooned some into a small bowl and we're gonna keep that one with the clear liquid to keep that a white mixture. So for our wet ingredients, you're gonna to wanna to do a half a cup of coconut oil. And then like eight to 12 drops of your essential oil, we're using lavender. I'm gonna pour it into my spray bottle. And that'll do it for the wet for now. So then you just wanna take your wet ingredients and spray it into the dry. Spray and then knead with your hands. Spray, knead, spray, knead until you get a wet sand texture. Once your texture is like crumpling and you can make it into a ball, you're good to go. So now for the rest of the dry ingredients, we're gonna make those purple. So add several drops of purple to your wet mixture here and stir it up till it becomes purple. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Spray, knead, spray, knead, and eventually it's gonna turn into the same wet sand texture and it's gonna be purple and now we're good to go. So now we're gonna take our little molds here. I bought these on Amazon. They're just little circle molds and we're gonna fill them up half by half and you wanna really pack it in there. So I'm just gonna use a small spoon and I'm gonna pack it into the base and for some of them I'm layering the colors. I'm making three here just so we have enough to test and you wanna just put it in however you want it to look. You know, just make sure you pack it in there and then do the same for the other side. And you wanna make sure that you over pack these so that they just go over the top a little bit because when we press them together, you wanna to make sure that it smacks them together and makes it as solid as possible. You really want to just pack and pack and pack this mixture because it needs to be very solid for when it sets. So then just press them together with lots of force it took lots of elbow grease to get mine nice and closed or something like closed. Then I'm just gonna throw mine in the freezer and I'm good to go with all of the mixing part. So I had put these in the freezer because most of the blogs say to do it overnight, to let them set overnight. I put them in the freezer because I didn't have overnight. I'm hoping they're not just ice balls and that they're just cold but solid. So the moment of reveal here, nice. Let's go ahead and test these out in the sink. Okay, so we're gonna be testing this in the sink because I don't wanna waste a bathtub full of water. And so I brought our vest guy here and we're going to just drop it in the sink and see if it fizzes. Here we go. Nice. That may fizz more than we want. 
but I would call that a great success. I would call this a holy grail because it is fizzing like no one's business right now. If this were a bathtub, I have no doubt it would actually fizz up the whole bathtub and it's turning the bath water purple, but not too much and I think it's going to be great. So now that I've seen this, I'm actually considering taking a bath, but as you can tell, it's hard to argue that this DIY is for sure a holy grail. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to probably go take a bath now and I'll see you guys next time. Love you so much. Bye.